good afternoon, family, or morning, or at night time. I don't know when y'all catching me. But anyway, thank you for coming over to the house, spending a little lunch time with me, or hell, dinner. Who knows what, when you are uh, tuning in to this video, okay? But we working. Uh, for the ones that are working out there, humping it every day, trying to get that grind on to provide for their families. I don't know. We might have been riding to work together. <laughs> having breakfast but either way welcome 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 love you all hugs and kisses around the room uh hopefully y'all having a fantastic time prior to coming to this video and i hopefully y'all will leave and be inspired and i gave y'all a lot of laughs and we sit here and uh work through some video issues or the subject matters we're talking about and just putting it all on the line okay about this subject matter but i'm coming to y'all today yes fry yay so celebrate you made it you made it, made it, made it to the end of the week. And for those that work on Saturday and Sunday, keep um, being happy about it. At least you are employed, okay? And maybe you will have your good day or relaxing day during the week if you work that type of shift, okay? But praises to everybody, blessings to everybody, and may everybody prosper this year, 2020, and going forward, okay? But anyway, we got a little story coming off from Hollywood Life. Yes, a lady named Jade B Boring brought this story out for us to partake of. Honey, now see, that's what I'm saying. Candid Burris Tucker running around on the Real Housewives of Atlanta like her shit don't stink. And she just being a bone carrier for the cast. And she ain't saying nothing about her little thing but we do know coming up on some episode in the future on uh real housewives of atlanta um todd is getting into her behind about something about she wanting to go act and he's having a little disagreement about it because i'm just gonna say because i ain't seen the episodes like you all have and i'm just speculating he probably tell her i ain't finna watch these kids while you go and uh live your best life or out there taping and going to parties afterwards or, or chilling while i'm at home with these kids these rug rats oh no you ain't finna do me like that baby girl you're gonna be at home okay hell we're both gonna be at home talk about that party life he ain't got time that's why i said i don't know why Candy didn't uh put her money in half of it uh how they say he, she don't get his he uh he don't get hers but whatever money they make together is theirs they should have bought a club because <laughs> at least she'll know what todd behind is and she can uh construct his uh office where he could conduct private business he can have a little uh, pieces of bump beds up there <laughs> <laughs> or at least a little crib for baby blaze because she ain't ready to sleep in no bump bed but damn that ac is he climb up down a bump bed and just be there with his daddy while his dad out there pumping and grinding to the music in the club ace could be sitting up there playing his video games and watching over his baby sister okay but it just is what it is i think canada bit off too much she that she could chew you know one of them uh, trying to get them eggs thawed out and implanted into them. somebody she entrusted to have her baby girl. And now she, she is trying to do too much. Uh, sometimes you can't do it all, Candy. You can't run a household. You can't be the boss and, and, and then try to pick up extra money. But I guess you got to do what you got to do, baby girl, because Todd ain't working. You told him he could come off his job and you can catch him and y'all can make millions together. But from what we're looking at, you are the one out there being the breadwinner and he's just escorting you every place he could possibly do and be with you okay pretty much like your bodyguard but anyway we're gonna get into this article title it said real housewives of atlanta preview new tension arises new tension arises not y'all what y'all really thinking honey the tension is coming in with guess who let me read that title again real housewives of atlanta preview new tension arises between candy's mom and her husband todd tucker <laughs> just what we thought just what we thought there was love in the camp for mama joyce and todd i tell you honey whatever done is the dark whatever's done in the dark gonna come to light i don't 
things were going a little do, too well over there. Especially when Candy was sitting up here letting Todd post online about his little tractor trailer company that we still ain't heard nothing uh, really about. Okay. He ain't been on social media either talking about that little tractor trailer and 18 wheeler. He hollering shit. Todd, what happened with that? Then we got these other um, uh, projects he's been working on, but ain't nothing come out of fruition as being profitable. So, Mama Joy been sitting back there looking at all that shit. She's like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Candy going to be bone-ass dried up by the time Baby Blaze get to go to high school. And man, he ain't getting none of my money. All my money, I little say, shit, what Riley? <laughs> At least that's what I'm thinking. I don't think she's leaving it, uh, whatever she has as assets. I don't think she leaving it to her sister's Bertha and what's her name? Nora. What, what the people name Bertha? Um, Bertha out Nora. Yeah, I don't think she leaving it for her sister because they got husbands too. <laughs> she probably like, uh uh-uh, uh, they ain't getting none of my money. Ain't no man getting none of my money. He ain't laying it straight. Oh, you know, in the bed with me, I, I can't do it. But anyway, we're going into the article. It says, Candy Burris reveals that the relationship between her mother, Joyce Jones, and her husband, Todd Tucker, is going backwards again in the February 8th episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta. So that is cool. I think they meant to say the 9th. I don't know why they said the 8th, but anyway, it might be an oversight, uh, a printing error. But anyway, uh to the journalistic integrity when they put shit right but okay i guess you just want to get the story out there before anybody else got it out there but moving back to the article it says back to square one candy burris 43 is frustrated that her mother's opinion towards her husband todd tucker 46 appears to be returning to its original state of disapproval in an exclusive sneak peek of february 8th episode the real housewives of atlanta candy shares these thoughts with todd after having a chat with her mother Joyce Jones, 70. <laughs> now, you know what? Mama Joyce don't look like she's 70. She really don't. Well, when she was in that birthday <coughs> costume, she did kind of like age with that wig and stuff. But on a normal day, everyday basis, she don't look like she's 70. I tell you, that black don't crack. Get into it. Talking about the fountain of youth. They need to be talking to these older women that's uh, 70, 80, and 90 and don't look like it. They ain't have all this Botox shit going on. But it just is what it is. Candy done got to the point where she's gotten vain about her looks. Now, I understand women been wearing makeup for a long time and she has a makeup line. Honey, can't keep using that concealer and stay away from them needles around your eyes, girl. Please. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, apparently Joyce doesn't trust Todd to look after her granddaughter, Riley Burris, who's 17 in the long run, according to Candy's um, takeaway from their conversation. Joyce wanted to put down Riley as her beneficiary and then Candy Candy after on that list. Candy tells Todd in the sneak peek clip below. Candy sees her mom's um, precaution as an insult to her husband. Like as if you won't make sure you you won't make sure Riley's good or something. She explains to Todd. <laughs> In hindsight, honey, mama be knowing what's best. Cause you be all up in that love triangle. He love me. He ain't gonna do this, that, and third. And mama be watching them actions. Them actions that she be seeing every time she take part of looking at y'all together. And how he's moving out on these social media streets. See, people on the outside looking in that have some privy information to your inside life. They can still clear a picture. <laughs> mama short said, your money. My money. I don't trust Todd. Hell, anything happened to you can all these folks get sacrificed around here. Or you just died in some freak accident, wasn't even sick or nothing, but you, you know, ha- died in some type of uh, unexplained, mysterious way. You think Todd gonna take care of me and my baby Riley? Shit, he gonna better take care of Blazer and Ace. But uh uh-uh. uh. I was him before him and Riley damn sure was for him before them other kids. And I don't trust them, Candy. <laughs> that's what she said. I don't trust them, girl. I'm 70 years old. I got a little something to say back. You think I'm going to let him take that? Uh-uh, not me. You could be a fool for your husband, but not me. I want fool, foolish for your dad, okay? You see where we left him at, okay? Divorced. All right, can I say that again? Divorced now. He ain't getting none of my dollars, okay? Or my coins that you leave me or have me uh, with for a monthly stipend or whatever. Now, this is all my sideboard. It's not in the latest commentary. Okay, but going back to her commentary. 
it says uh <coughs> Candy's husband is offended and Candy fears her mom is backtracking on the warm feelings she was starting to show her son-in-law. My mother and Todd have unfortunately had a long and negative history. Candy says in a confessional which cuts a scene of Joyce calling Todd an opportunist. She adds, things have started to go backwards again and I don't know what to do. You can watch Todd's reaction uh, to all this below. Okay, and I do have a clip. Y'all can have the audio. And I forgot to give y'all the audio on that last uh, video I put out on Kenya Moore and Mark. I'm sorry about that, but I'm sure you all, uh, my family, small as hell. And when I forget something, they know I'm just scatterbranded or whatnot. They'll go search for what I'm talking about. I got some small family members, honey. But they know how I get, honey. I be done worked all day on my real job. I have to come and do this. <sighs> when I just really want to come and talk to y'all. But, hey, I got to bring y'all something right okay so going back to the article says candy welcome riley with her ex russell spencer and candy has admitted that riley gets a real attitude with her stepdad todd earlier in the season despite the family's riff candy gushed that todd is her perfect match after sharing instagram photos from their fancy date night on january 25th Candy Todd tied the night in 2014, and they shared one child, a four-year-old son named Ace. But as we know, they have two children together, baby Blaze, all right? But uh, let me see if I can get this video or this audio to play. Let's see here. Okay, guys, and that's what we're going to be looking forward to. they saying uh, February 8th, but February 8th is a Saturday. So, uh, well, that was a big blooper. So, I guess we'll see that play out on TV on that episode that's coming up on the 9th, which is Sunday. So, y'all, what y'all tell me, fam? What y'all think about Mama Joyce? <laughs> is Mama Joyce trying to pump up. Um, uh, Candy storyline from her being a bone collector is she trying to tell Candy she need to drop some of her tea? It may be eighty percent correct, and the rest may be embellished. But she pops saying, "Girl, I need you to keep doing good on that show because I still need my stipend. I still need my paycheck every month that you giving me a side cut on, okay? Because since I can't be on the show as much as I was, you know, when y'all were just gearing up and having you on the show, you know, but I." I can fight with Todd some more. Because <laughs> if this is some true tea and Mama Joyce really feeling that way, honey, this is going to be some bad shit coming up for season, uh, what, 
13, 14, and 15. Because it's going to definitely put a riff between um, Candy and her husband, Todd. Because, again, Candy, why are you putting your mother in the fire with your husband? Unless you're doing it for a storyline, like I said. Because I can see that um, parallel where you're trying to boost up your... Um, Fan based as well as pe- your likability for the Real Housewives of Atlanta, but you know you can't put Mama Joyce in shit. Mama shit, Mama Joyce be ready to tear shit up, especially when it comes to her trying to make sure the money that you've acquired it goes first on baby girl Riley. Then she come next, and then the other babies come because those are Todd babes. <laughs> She's out here raise uh Riley. God damn it. I ain't finna lose out. I'm 70. I need to enjoy myself like I've been enjoying myself for the last 20 years. Okay, 15, however it goes. But, um, no, I ain't got I ain't got time for Todd. Todd's spending too much money out in that public arena and showing people, bossing up, and, and using your money. Because, see, can mm-hmm. your own mama don't believe that it's the money you and Todd done made together. You see what I'm saying? And you put your own self in the fire by sitting there Telling Todd how your mama really feel about him. Girl, you don't let that come out until y'all don't got bad in y'all relationship. And then y'all trying to call it quits. Then you can throw that upsetting this there. Because Todd is always going to have that in the back of his mind. Because he ain't got nobody to talk to. Not a mother older figure. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't trust your family. He said that in the past. When Blaze came home and he felt like he was just being overwhelmed because it was all your family. And, you know, as long as y'all been married since 2014, he should feel some comfort with some of your family members. A cousin or somebody. No, Aunt Nora. Well, I know he ain't got Aunt Bertha mad because he, he, he put her in the kitchen again. <laughs> She ain't here. He put all three of them in the kitchen. Talking about old lady gang. I'm still messed up with that old lady gang. I don't think Candy definitely should have named that that kind of like. He could have said seasoned women or seasoned southern women or, or southern women's get down. Something, you know, catch it. But not no old lady gang. So that was a disrespect <laughs> right there. And I ain't think Candy you going to take that bait and name that restaurant that. But you did, girl. So, hell, he been slapping them in the face with that mess and then having them make appearances when something is new coming out on the menu or y'all want to lease another space and start something else. You, you know, you want to use them to um, promote the business. And they're like, I ain't finna promote shit. I'm tired. I'm do- I am retired i come and go as i please i don't be summoned by nobody i know that what aunt bertha saying <laughs> and bertha's fam honey she is fam and nora seem like she the one that's the mediator and you know uh mama joyce gonna tell it like it is okay and she gonna have her back up in aunt bertha and then nora just ain't gonna have a choice but to fall in line okay Yes, child. I can't believe that. I can't believe that's a good ass storyline right there. Oh, yes, honey. Because Todd is going to be too fit to be tied. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know what he's going to do, honey. But Todd, at the end of that um, video clip, he said, I think she just worried about herself. Well, Todd, ain't you worried about yourself too, baby? Ain't you worried about yourself? We all ain't promised to be on this earth. Uh, how long we think we need to be on it. So, yes, Candy can be taken at any day. And that means everything that she has, if y'all don't have it in the prenup structure, if anything happens to you, this money go to this person, this money go to that person. You know what I'm saying, divvy up. Hopefully, Candy was brilliant enough to put those pieces into place as well. Not saying you're not going to do what you're supposed to do. But in case you had a side epiphany or you get mad at you know, Candy side of the family, you just want to do what you think you need to do. Now, nah, she should already have those in different compartments. X amount of dollars given to Riley, set aside, you know, for her schooling and anything else that, you know, is plausible that Candy wanted her to have while she was living. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you know, and whatever she thinks she wants to have for a side for Riley, you know, to give her a, a, a fresh start after she finished college or whatever. Uh, that money set aside and then she got to take care of baby Ace, you know, make sure he good and 
Uh, make sure all the projects and, and uh, sponsorships he has are still in tow. Uh, and Baby Blaze, I'm sure she's going to have something too as well. Because uh, Candy loves social media. She loves putting her children to work, honey. Even if they out there playing like Baby Ace. He got a little play and giveaway. I mean, he play with the toy and then he give it, uh, give it away to a, a will. I'm uh, not a willing, a needy child or a child that you know wants to play with a toy that he just got finished, you know, demolishing or, you know, throwing up against the wall and just playing with it. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> so he get he regifted and give it to somebody else. That's um, uh, um, uh, I won't say needy or want it, but I guess you know. They don't pay anything to get it. Probably just shipping and handling. Hell, I don't know what Candy doing over there with Aces Play and Giveaway. And it's, I believe some Todd had thought about it. I know it's some Todd had thought about it. But anyway, he has his own little website over there or, or YouTube thing. And he's doing his thing. And that's cute because it builds up self-confidence. It gives him a, a public speaking platform where he gets used to you know, speaking with people, uh, dialoguing with them, and expressing itself. So, good job, Candy. Yes, let these children, you know, be able to speak their mind respectfully and give them good etiquette where they can get in front of people and have no qualms about, you know, letting their audience uh, relate to them, interact with them, and they're comfortable in this type of environment or setting. So, kudos to you behind it. What y'all think about Mama Joy starting some shit again? That woman, yeah, she gave him a little reprieve until she saw he acting up again with spending that money. It ain't nothing coming up for far as black revenue, okay? It's just trying it try to, like it's trying to be in the red. And Mama Joy said, I ain't finna have that, uh-uh, because my child, my child, meaning her other child, Riley, she said, I, I invested in her too. And she talking about she wanted to go to school to be a lawyer. That's going to take money. That's going to take four years in a good college. Then she had to have post-secondary education. She got to go to uh, attorney school or lawyering school, however you say it. <coughs> and that's another, what, two or three years. And then who knows? She might want to get something else under her belt. She might not be really ready to work. She might want to see the world. And, I, you know, I want her to have what she need to have. You know, poor, uh, Todd, he was mad when Candy bought her that Porsche at 15. I think we're 15 or 16. Yes, honey, he didn't like that. <laughs> so, yes, Mama Joy said, uh-uh, you may trust him, but I don't trust him. Hell no, I can't throw him uh, nowhere real quick, real fast in a hurry. Can't fight and tussle with him, but I can definitely keep that damn money in front of his ass. <laughs> I can't take it, y'all. I can't take it. Woo, this 2020 is going to be rolling with this Real Housewives of Atlanta. But at least Candy is giving us a little bit more. Because, you know, everybody's uh, life is not perfect. We have our flaws. We have issues we deal with. We mismanage money here and there. And, you know, we have to learn from those experiences. So I'm glad Candy is letting us in, having a little insight. So she's not deemed as perfect. Ain't nothing going on in her life. Everything's rolling good. You know, and everything's gravy. So... She can definitely stop being a little bone collector or, uh, you know, snitch over there. So, yeah, she's in her forum right now. Let's see how her shit stinks and, and what she's going through, okay? So, we can ascertain who, okay? Because I ain't like Candy. I haven't been liking Candy since she's been the bone collector. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Fam, you know I ain't going to lie. But uh, now we're getting to see her dealing with her husband and things he's not doing or things he's not on board with her doing to generate more you know revenue and then you got the mama on the side saying you know hey i ain't giving y'all my money <coughs> i don't trust todd and if i got to have my money secured in case anything happen to you then you we, we need to talk this thing through <laughs> so we know for a fact it wasn't really candy wanting that prenup per se. Mama Joyce said, yes, you are going to get a prenup. Oh, yes, you is. Okay, well, I'm going to break hell up in here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I ain't going to walk you down the aisle. I ain't going to do this for you. I ain't going to do that. I, I, I'm just going to be non-existent. <laughs> so candy just caught right smack dab in the middle. Did I say smack dab in the middle? That's what we got candy fam. Smack dab in the middle. Okay. So, not a good look for Candy. Let's see how she weasel out of this one. Let's see uh, how she transformed uh, becoming her own woman in a marriage. And some things you just can't tell, 
you know, your mother, because things you may tell in confidence about Todd, he may improve himself. But your parent, your mother, they forgot about the the pain he caused you. They, that's all the seed that they baby hurt, and it's it's you can't rec- you can't recover. You cannot recover from that type of information that you know had went down, and you couldn't save your child or intervene for your child not to experience that type of hurt. So how they say it's best to keep it between the person you're dealing with with it and the lower because when you good and gravy with your own situation and your man or your uh wife guess what or your girl your family ain't gonna forget about it this gonna still be stuck on stupid or where you had put them uh by talking against your partner they gonna still be riding that wave all right and they ain't coming off of it no time soon because they don't see that you'll ever change it might ease up it might get better to a certain degree but then you're gonna go back to your old ways and they're not gonna have this back and forth they're gonna eventually tell you to make a choice can it either be silent and suffer in silence or you need to get out of marriage pretty much okay but that's how i felt about this video y'all y'all get down in them comments fam and y'all tell me what y'all think about mama joyce getting on tall ass remember she did say ain't no mountain high enough ain't no valley low enough ain't no river wide enough to keep me off your ass sing it fam ain't no mountain high enough come on fam y'all thinking keep me keep me off your ass Yes, yes, honey, and it ain't the a- 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 alcohol talking. <laughs> Mama Joyce is for real, fam. She for real. She ready to go tell somebody up and get a hold of Todd and shake him any which way but loose, honey. Any which way but loose. That's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all have a beautiful, blessed uh, afternoon, night, or uh, morning when y'all ever partaking of this video. And I will see you soon for another video, fam. So y'all take care of yourselves. And I'll see you next time. But don't forget, subscribe, like my videos, and comment, okay? And share my videos, guys. Let's grow together, okay? Because there's no me without you. And you, uh, there's no you without me, okay? Thank you, guys. Bye.